This is an IRLP tutorial on using the settings in ELSA Mixer for a PC-based sound card. ELSA Mixer is the program used to adjust the input, output, and repeated audio levels on an IRLP node and comes standard with all Debian-based IRLP nodes, including PyRLP and the next generation embedded nodes. It uses a graphical interface, which is intuitive for most users. However, it's not very useful for visually impaired individuals. So if you need assistance, by all means, feel free to contact us at installs at irlp.net. Mixer is run by typing the word Mixer. It's best to do it as root from a console or SSH window. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of sliders and available controls here. This is a next generation embedded IRLP node uh, sound card here. It's uh, based on an Intel platform and a real tech chipset. Now there are three different screens, a playback screen, a capture screen, and a screen that shows all. You toggle between them using the tab key. Now as you can see, there's a lot of information here. So we try to break it down by only using the playback or the ca capture. Using the all screen can just contains way too much information. So we tend to use one, the playback or the ca capture, but not all. Now to move around inside here you use the right arrow to select the device you want to adjust and you use the up and down arrows to adjust the level uh, you can also use the M key to adjust muting on or off uh, the space key the space bar can be used to toggle certain things but is mainly used in the capture screen to toggle the capture on and off and to choose the capture device. So back to the playback screen here. If you press F1, a window pops up to show you all the possible uses, uh, all the possible controls in the ALSA control system. So we'll start here with the playback screen and I'll try to explain what each of the settings does. Now the master setting is the overall volume for the system. So anything that's mixed in, uh, be it the audio from IRLP, identification, and repeated audio is all adjusted up and down with the master control. Um, closely related is the PCM control. This control adjusts the audio level of the IRLP audio as well as identification and any played back wave files etc from the node so this is where you would adjust how much audio is played back uh, from the IRLP essentially the uh, pulse code modulation uh, the files from the IRLP node now there's several uh, other things here front mic back mic SP SPDIF your best course of action is to set everything to about 50% when you first get in here and then start adjusting them down up and down to see what their effects are in this particular case um, the input is done through the rear mic here we've set the rear mic to zero however if we wanted to repeat audio from the input to the output we could adjust this rear mic set rear mic setting up or down but seeing that as this is a simplex node we turn it down to zero and or we can mute it you'll see here also there is a rear mic boost setting but we'll get more to that later so the next main screen is your capture screen this is where you select input audio that's captured by the node and sent to other nodes so again in this case um, this uh, particular sound card does not have a line input but we're using a mic input instead and it actually has three microphone inputs there's a front microphone input there's an internal microphone on the mo motherboard and there's a rear microphone input so in this case we're actually using the rear mic so as you can see there's a capture set for the rear mic. Now we could set the capture for the front mic, but there's nothing connected there, or the internal mic, or the rear mic. It's very important that one of these is set as a capture device. If not, you're just going to send dead air. The next thing you see here is a rear mic boost. So the microphone input has a lot of gain control. In other words, you can uh, apply between 5 and 30 dB of, of uh, mic gain into this input this particular setting here the capture controls how much audio is 
uh, captured from the input and sent to the input, or captured from the input and sent through to IRLP nodes on the other end of end of the link. This is the device that you'll be setting your internal level with. Now, this particular sound card has this digital input. I'm not exactly sure what it does. However, I did just set it to a value, and it is it does need to have a value in order for this particular sound card to work. In the next setting here, as you can see, or the next screen shows all, but there's a heck of a lot of information there, way more than you'll ever that you're ever going to need to know. Now, if you follow up with another video, we have a video that shows the split screen setting of the audio levels, both input and output for an IRLP node. So having the knowledge that you learn in this tutorial of how to use ELSA Mixer and what the various mixer pieces do will be pivotal in being able to control your IRLP audio levels from your PC-based sound card. Now to exit ELSA Mixer, you just press the Escape key. And anytime you want to save your settings, you use the command ELSA CTL store and press en enter. And that will save any changes that you make to the sound card. Please follow up with the tutorial on how to uh, set your audio l levels using a split screen, as well as if you have a USB sound card, there's a similar tutorial to this one on USB sound cards available.